yeah, we don't really enable it by default on GPUs we already support. Right. Um, so the first one to actually use it is Ada, and that's the 40 series. Oh, really new? Okay. Yeah. Um, it can be used on Turing and Ampere, which is like 20 and 30 series, but users would have to opt in. And, um, yeah. Is there any reason that it's... At a kernel command line flick. Oh. Is there any reason why it's it's going with 40 first, not also doing those older ones? Oh, y yes. Uh, for the 40 series, we haven't gotten any firmware from NVIDIA so far. So that's um, the only GPU you, you can use with GSP anyway. Okay, right. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Right, and for the uh, previous generations, we already have firmware, and in order to not like regress users, um, we don't use it there yet. Mm -hmm. um, but 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 we do plan to flip the switch at some point once we are more um, comfortable with flipping it. <laughs> so that article I saw was from like the start of this year. So. I doubt you just have benchmarks sitting in front of you right now, but how much better of a state is it in than... It's basically like... Oh, it's like 10 months ago. Like, how much how much better is it at this stage? I don't know. But... I think... Michael said he's planning to do some benchmarks oh. on the article. I think. Yeah, in the last section of the article. Uh, um, of the um, TO, uh, DSP binary firmware blob article. Uh, okay, I can't. <laughs> I might, you might be having a look in a slightly different article. Uh, it, it, there's a lot of things that go off on this website. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of everything. Yeah. No, I just quoted the part to you, so... Uh, um. Oh, here we go. Uh, now... You are, yeah, you are reading a different one than I am. <laughs> okay, that's why I can't find it. Uh, now on to benchmarking this new Novo Sport with Linux 6.7 to see how much it improves the open source situation for RTX 20 slash 30 series hardware as well as the initial RTX 40 GPU Sport on Novo. For those on GPUs prior to RTX 20, this firmware isn't relevant with the GSP only being introduced with RTX 20 Turing GPUs. Okay, that makes sense. So this is like... Yeah, so... It, it, so it's for like fairly recent GPUs. So... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were yeah, going to add um, something to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I assume what you're going to ask, but... Um, I think, like, the, 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 not that I think, but um, the generations between Kepler and Turing probably won't get any reclocking support ever. That makes sense. So that's very unfortunate. Um, but if NVIDIA is not giving us any firmware for that, and we ask, um, then it's uh, not going to happen. Well, it's. it's... I mean, there, there are some people who. To try to figure something out, but it's really not sustainable. Yeah, it's understandable. Like I, I, I okay. I have similar discussions with people about like because I talk a lot about Wayland, and I will have people message me like I am on a Kepler GPU or whatever, and it doesn't like Wayland doesn't work great on my GPU. It's like yes, but you also have a ten year old GPU, like. At a certain point, like, NVIDIA's going to stop supporting it. Whether they should stop supporting it at the point they stop supporting it, you know, that's a whole other discussion. But there is going to be a cutoff point where they have to just say, this is just too old, it's not our problem anymore. And, it, look, it, 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 it is what it is, basically. It would be nice yeah, if they were going back sad. further, but, you know. <laughs> I mean, they can always try to use Novo. <laughs> no, I mean, um, 
I think on Kepler it would be fine because we also support the Kepler GPUs in NVK. Mm -hmm. Well, kind of. I don't think it's like at the same level as Turing, but it kind of works. Mm -hmm. um, it's better than nothing. Um, but yeah, all the GPUs in between are kind of. Yeah, not much we can actually do about. You can also frame it slightly differently with. 20 series being the like early cutoff point, everything going forward will not be a problem. So in a couple of years, when you buy an old 20 series card, that will support it. Oh yeah, that, that's, that's true. And, and, th and those GPUs are already like five years old, mm -hmm. so... Is it that long already? Yeah. Oh. The, 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 the first tiering was like December or September 2018. What the hell? Uh, Turing Micro Architecture 2018. What? Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, that was a while ago, wasn't it? Jesus. Yeah. Wow, that, that feels like it just happened. Maybe it's because, like, GPUs yeah. started getting, like, really expensive starting around then, so a lot of people just didn't upgrade, and it's been, like, yeah, there's less excitement I hear about GPUs nowadays than, like... Because I, I, I first started getting into PCs back during Kepler. And people got, like, super excited every time a new generation came out. And now it's like, okay, but it costs as much as a car. So, like, do I want to buy it? Probably not. Like, I'll just stick... There's a reason why the... I think it's the 1650 is the most popular GPU on Steam Hardware Survey. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, that's also supported, by the way. Mm. It's just weird because the 16 series is newer than 20, just in, in case somebody oh. doesn't make the connection. Right, I forgot about it. It's also Turing. It's just Turing without ray tracing. Right, basically. I forgot about that. <laughs> what? I want to know who in NVIDIA thought that that naming scheme was a good idea. I really do. <laughs> yeah, it's always been uh, confusing. Yeah, look, like, it's probably not going to be that long till we do another reset of the numbering. The numbers are getting a little bit too high. I'm going to get back to the uh, 100 series at some point. Give it uh, probably a couple more generations. I mean, they, they went from three digit, like, they started with four digit and mm -hmm. went to three and now two. So I guess they will go with one digit. 